guys, what's up? It's your girl Lisa here with a real quick tutorial on a nice flirty spring look. Um, I'm just so ready for spring to get here. It's not my favorite season, but it's going to be a lot better than our winter. At least I am praying that it will be. So, I wanted to do something fun with a little splash of color for the spring. Not too much foundation, not too much heavy makeup. Summertime comes, spring comes, you don't want to have a face full of stuff because it just doesn't work. At least not for me. So this is something really simple, something really easy where you can look polished and yet it takes a minimal amount of products, a minimum amount of work to achieve. So I hope you guys like the look and stay tuned for the tutorial. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Smooches, mwah. Be blessed guys and most importantly, be a blessing. Hey guys, as usual, I'm starting with the Prepped and Primed face. Today I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and the color is chocolate. This is my first time using the product, and I'm applying that with a flat angled brush, and I'm basically just outlining my brows and filling them in. Now, I love the fact that this pomade made my brows, or should I say, the filling actually gave the appearance of hair so I do love that I love that it's easy to work with um, it's not as simple as just taking my favorite which is a brow pencil and filling in my brows but this is definitely one you know worth getting because I really really love the results right there I'm just cleaning it up a little bit with some concealer and I'm using the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, and that's the color tan. Just applying that to the top and the bottom of my brows and blending that out. Now, because I'm crazy and I'm addicted, I have to go in and fill in just a little bit with my MAC Brow Pencil in the color Spiked. That's just going to make me satisfied, guys. <laughs> now, onto the eyes, I'm using Max Paint Pot, and the color is Constructivist. It's a very beautiful bronzy gold color, and I'm basically just going to use that as my base. This will ensure that my shadows will last and that there will be no creasing. Now I'm going in with the color Saddle from MAC and I'm just going to apply that right into the crease. And for my highlight, I'm going to take Rice Paper by MAC and I'm just going to apply that right under the brow bone and that's just going to serve as a little brow highlight for the look. I'm going to go into for my actual shadow or my eyelids are going to be the Copper Sparkle by MAC. It's a loose pigment. And I'm going to take Fix Plus by MAC and just spray my brush with it. You are more than welcome to just spray it with some um, water or use a wet wipe just to moisten the brush. This will intensify the color of the pigment. So that's why I am spraying spraying it or that's why I did spray it and right there I'm just applying that copper sparkle all over my lids and right there I'm just blending out nothing's on the brush I'm just blending out the color to make the transition smoother for under my eyes I'm using um, prestige liner pencil in the color Rhapsody now I wanted to add a pop of color since the eyes are going to be so simple or should I say the shadow so simple I wanted to add color to the bottom and this is a drugstore brand I love it I usually find it at CVS it's so smooth so creamy and it lasts all day now you can definitely stop here if this blue is enough for you, but I need to go bigger. So I'm taking the High Def Kion, and that is from MAC. I'm just going right over top of that Prestige pencil with this color, just to give a little bit more of a pop. And this is a very creamy consistency. I love the way that it goes on. And I actually love the way that it made the eye look. So... Because it's creamy, I'm going to go into this Arts in the Street palette by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to apply that blue shadow right over top of it just to set the um, liner. That way it will last all day. Now for my mascara, I used Max Waterfast Lash Mascara. <laughs> 
I'm just applying that to the top and bottom lashes. And I'm going to use the CoverGirl 3-in-1 from the Queen Collection in my color is Toffee. I applied that already and although it's a matte finish, I wanted to still set it with the Prep and Prime Transparent Powder by MAC. I'm not using a lot, but for that time of the year when spring and summer comes, you want to make sure that you have a matte finish. And for the contour, I'm going to do a light contour with the color Blunt from MAC. Just applying that into the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm actually going to take that just around the perimeter of my face to bring a little bit more dimension to it. Okay, my blush is from NARS and it is called Taj Mahal. It's a beautiful orange, one of my favorite blushes hands down. And I just wanted to put a little bit on it to give it a little sun-kissed look for the cheeks. So I'm just blending that out. And for the lips, I am using a Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil by MAC, and it is called What a Blast. I'm just going to blot the lip prep that I have on my lips already and apply that to my lips. Now, in actuality, my lips are pretty pink, so this orange is not showing up very well in the camera, but it is there. It's um pretty subtle, but nonetheless, it's going on there, so it will serve as a lip liner and I'm taking a lipstick a luster lipstick from MAC and it is called Dreaming Dahlia and I'm going to apply that all over my lips it's actually a very pretty coral color just thought that would bring the look all together And I'm going to go on top of that with a lip glass from MAC and it is called Mo Orange. And that's just going to really bring the color out and add some sheen to it. Alright guys, I am done. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you liked the look. Thumbs up the video. Please comment and subscribe if you have not done so already.